Hello everyone, this is uh, Russell. I just wanted to talk to you today about um, the range module that's part of Quick Estimate 4. And let's go ahead and get started. This is it right here. You have a few options right away within Adobe Muse. You can stylize your text which will affect both the number as well as the message. And you can do that just right in text functions. And we can say Great. You'll see that that changes here as well as down here. Um, you can change the size of the range by just scooting this in. And you'll notice it'll reflow to fit the box. And some options that you'll see inside the widget. Let's go ahead and take a look. You have a range name that's going to be specific to this uh, module and you have a preset value which happens to be 899 here you have um, your range values now this is uh, gets a little bit more confusing but once you understand what it's doing um, it makes sense so at the beginning of this range you have a minimum start value so that's at the minimum of this range happens to be 499 you can put whatever you'd like in there um, and at the maximum for this particular range, I have 10,000. Now, in between that, we have points that change this message. So, as you grab a hold of this slider and slide it further this way, in that area of around 2,000, it will switch to a new message here, and it'll change the color of this ring to match the median color. And then you have your median range which is going to be somewhere in this area. And then you have your maximum which is going to be from here all the way to the end. So that is values. And if we look at colors, um, colors is pretty straightforward. You're basically picking um, a three color blend The next area you have is the uh, message options. If you click that, you have the ability to turn it on or turn it off. Turning it off will make this not show up at all. It will keep the value in here, so don't work, uh, confuse it with that. Um, you have a font size, so this right now happens to be 30, but you can change this to whatever size you'd like. And you can change it also to whatever color you'd like. So if we change it to orange. There we go. So, and then you have the three different um, value messages. So, you, at your minimum value, you have this message that appears. At your medium value, you have this message that appears. And at your max, you have this. You can get a little fancy if you'd like, and you can stylize this with HTML and target it with the CSS. And that is it for the um, inside of the widget. So it's pretty straightforward, very easy to use, and it works uh, right within totals. Now let's go ahead and scroll down to the totals area. You see, this is where I have the total area. Situations like the one that's actually being utilized on this page, I actually don't want that range value to pass to my total. So in that situation, where you would want them to still enter it, um, but you don't actually want to have that report into your total, you can actually turn it off. Now, turning it off will still allow it to be added into um, your email list, so you can still gather that information if you have it off. And then we'll go ahead and publish this, and you can take a look. We're just going to scoot this guy back up. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and publish this to the browser. Now you'll notice that um, as I scroll through these messages, you'll see the messages change. It has our lovely font as well as our crazy color that we chose. Um, you'll notice that it 
it's not reporting to the totals value that's visible on screen. Obviously, if you're filling in this form, you're going to see the value change specifically to what you're actually looking to have done. So that's actually the value I wanted reported, <clears throat> not this here. This just gives me a little bit added information um, about the customer and what possibly their budget um, requirements are. Um, and as you fill in this form, this value gets sent as well as a list, a detailed list of all the different elements that were utilized in this form. And that is about it for range. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to always email me. Um, you can reach me at russ at doodaddle.com. And I'll talk to you soon.